Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about our X-ray tutorials. As a part of our previous tutorial, we understood about how to create a test and write test cases as a part of the X-ray test management and also understood about various aspects of designing an appropriate test within the X-ray because optimum utilization of a particular feature is most important to reduce your overall cost on you, you know, working on that feature. Now today it's time for us to understand the next part of it that is in fact to create the test cases but instead of creating it once again, what if I have a provision to recall a particular existing test? Yes, we are talking about the reusability of test cases which might have been written in a way that the other tests can also make use of similar instructions. So today we'll be understanding how to call a test instead of writing a new one. So let's go ahead and have a look on the same while interacting with X-Ray. As a part of this tutorial, we will be trying to understand how to create a test in X-Ray, which is a continuation of our previous tutorial. But here we will be understanding how to call an existing test or an existing test step to be integrated with a new one. Well, as a part of our previous tutorial, we tried understanding how to create a quick test. And I think we just worked on the MTP16, if you remember. And uh, here we created few steps to test the login page of the daily hand news application and uh, we created three steps one to enter the username second to enter the password and third to click on the login button and kept the steps very pretty generic here and understood how to do this but now it's time for us to understand further that what is a call test function in x-ray and how exactly it can be used in different manners so the very first thing what i would like to do here is i would like to start showing you the various options which we'll be talking about and in a short while you will be understanding all of them number one when you're writing the steps you always hover between two steps and you find this there's a button here called as new step or call test so you can call a particular step from any particular test and import it here the same buttons will also be visible at this point here that means new step or call test or you can also do it from import test option or the fourth option is when you are creating a new test, right? So let us see how exactly that can happen. So I'll quickly jump into another test, which is like uh, MTP15 and see how we can do that. Now this is basically to register. So uh, uh, let me just quickly clone the MTP16, but rather than you know cloning the test, because that may certainly create a confusion that uh, these uh, test steps were already cloned while cloning the test story, right? So let me click on the clone of this option, but I will modify the uh, summary of it. I would rather say this is not for registration. I'm creating a replica of uh, as a tester validate, the user can log in. Okay. Uh, with other valid credentials. Okay. Or I can say this could be an instance of that particular test, which we have been doing. So I'll just specifically mention that other valid. So it looks unique and different. So click on clone and uh, we should be ready to go. So, all right. So we don't want to create login test for the registration part, right? Uh, so this is where we are MTP 17 and uh, the page is just getting loaded. And this is the clone relationship that it is cloned from MFP 15. Let me remove that. Now let's get started. So number one thing what I'll do here is I'll confirm you that there are no test cases as a part of it. Meanwhile, it's getting loaded. Let me assign it to somebody who can take care of the story. So say for example, Alice will be working on this and Alice is now trying to populate the test cases. But I told Alice that, hey Alice, I have written some test cases already for login in MTP 15. So if you think that can be utilized here, we make use of it so that you can save your time instead of writing. So we, we just have three steps, but in real time environment, you may have more number of steps. And that's where the complication begins, right? So as we pick up a new test altogether, we do not have any steps here as of now. The number one thing it says, do you want to add a step, but how? We want to create new or call a test. So I click on call a test here and it will ask me, which test do you want to call? Now this calling or adding a step. So this button will do both the jobs. Okay. 
Either it can call a particular step or it can call a test. It all depends on your selection. So say for example, I say, yeah, I'm interested in to call in this particular test here instead of writing the test cases once again. So I uh, basically am looking for the login page. So I should have uh, a page which talks about the same MTP 15. Let me check if that has the step. Sorry, who had the steps here? It was not that person. So let me quickly go back uh, here and look at the all issues. We had a login test. Let me confirm that number. So user can register. Users can register login on daily hand. So it was MTP 16, right? So let us uh, import it from MTP 16. Calling in uh, the next test here is MTP 16 and click on add. So if I click on add here, you just see the difference, right? We did not do anything here. And it says we are calling in a test MTP 16 as a tester validate that a registered user can log in on daily hand news app and it has three steps. Correct. So now here, if you see, I have the similar things, but the difference is that instead of writing this test again and again, if I want to see what are the steps, I can always jump into the MTP 16 by having a hyperlink here and I can get to know what was the steps there, right? I have here come to MTP 16 right now. So MTP 16 will tell me all the steps, but here it will be just calling. So whenever I import this test, that is MTP 17 in any particular execution, it will just call out three steps from MTP 16. So instead of writing that, instead of having them here, this is what happens when you import or basically call a test in a brand new test issue type, right? The second thing is calling a step. If you want to call only one particular step, or if I don't want to call the entire test, I want to only call a particular step, right? So I click on this next button here, instead of add step, right? You say import. And import it says here from JSON, test, CSV, clipboard, I say from test. We'll, we'll be looking into the other options quite later. And here I say test issue is MTP16, and uh, it will retrieve the steps from here, that is MTP16, and it will tell me, okay, you have the provision now, that how do you want to import them? Like, do you want to go only with step one? Do you want to go only with step two? Do you want to go with all of them? So what I'm trying to tell you at this point of time is that when it comes to calling on an existing test, you should know how to call the entire test. You should know how to call any particular step or deciding on the number of steps which you want. And that's it. Say for example, just to keep it different, I'm going to call only one step here and click on next. Then it says, where does it go? All right? So I would say it exactly goes to the same thing. You know, I'm just not doing anything different. It goes to data. This goes to expected result because this basically becomes importing format. Okay. And we just validate it. No problems were found import the steps, right? So directly the steps will be imported here and will be pasted below this call of the test action, right? And then the step followed, right? So this is how we can import it. Now, when it comes to importing another thing, which is like creating a new step, you click on this button and you know how to write the steps. So you can insert a new test step between the existing test cases, which you have called. So this will become three, this will become two, and this will become one, right? Or even if you want, you can call a test directly from here, which is similar button, which you see at the bottom, right? You click on the call test. It again takes you to the same page, call a test, call a step, etc. right? So these are the various ways by which you can actually import or add a step. So the, the same buttons will you know, exist everywhere. If I click here and I say new and call test, new and call test at the bottom, and new and call test here in the center. So this is unpositions, this is positions at the bottom, and this is in between the steps. So wherever you click, that's where the steps will be added. But never mind. You can click on any of these three buttons. The purpose will be same, except the import part. So import test will give you a wizard where you can define which section goes to which section. If you want, you can swap the data from a particular column to another column as well. right? But you can, after creating a step, you can also drag and drop that. What is that you want to do first? And what is that you want to do second? So now I just dragged and dropped it here. Now my step two will become one and one will become step two, right? So if you can see here now, 
this is both the grid which allows you to drag and drop and position the test cases accordingly so i see step one is now enter the username and step two is a call test right so this is how simple calling an existing test would be without uh, writing the same test cases again and again so at any point if you feel a kind of you know a requirement of reusability and you have test cases already written and you don't want to simply copy paste or write it again then those are the best options for you also you can quickly clone the step which we learned in the previous tutorial so all these comes together so i hope that was all from this particular tutorial team and you had a great understanding on this should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning